Hello and welcome, I'm Bert the Stormtrooper and today we're going to be taking a look at a set of 3D printed accessories that were very generously sent to me by friend of the channel, Mike Hayes, also known as Fire Talks. Now this is just a sampling of the weapons and accessories that he has available. He has a whole lot more than what I'm about to show you here. And the really neat thing about this is that he has these files available to download for free to anybody that has a 3D printer. You can go on his page, you can download these for free and print them yourself. So that is very cool of him to not only just design these, but to also make them available for everybody. And he was again, kind enough to send me these samplings so that I can show them off on the channel. And he even created a, a weapon that's specific just for me. And once this video goes out, he'll make this file public as well if you want to get it. So that's really, really cool. I am going to put links to Mike's website uh, down in the description below, along with links to every one of the accessories that I'm going to show off here today. Now, a lot of these weapons and accessories, I don't have the figures that they were intended for. So unfortunately, I won't be able to show them off completely the way they were meant to be shown off, I guess. Uh, I'll do the best I can, but I'm gonna go through the, the ones that I can't or, or I don't have the figures for first. And I'm gonna start with these guys back here. And these are the basically just cassette cases for your Siege cassettes, for all the, all the little cassette figures that go with um, Soundwave. Uh, so he printed me off four of these. I got two in clear, two in purple. And these are really cool because these are very reminiscent and very similar to the ones that the G1 cassettes would come with, or would come with, yeah. So yeah, these are really, really cool. And if you got your little cassette figures, you can always store them in here. So that is really, really cool. That is the cassette case for Transformer Siege. The next piece that we've got is a rotor staff for Siege Spinister. Uh, and this is pretty neat because it will fit, the way it's printed, it'll fit right over the um, blade of the existing uh, or the existing blade of the vehicle mode so it actually gives spinister four blades instead of two which is really neat uh, but then it also works as a rotor weapon for him to hold in his hand and again i don't have spinister but i'll bring this guy in uh, because spinister does have the port on the side of the arm here so this uh, this piece will be able to peg in on the side of the arm like that for spinister and as you can see pretty much for any other figure that has that on the side there so it makes a pretty cool uh handy kind of a blade weapon a furry figure to hold on their forearm like that. So that, that's pretty neat. And again, this is the uh, additional uh, rotor blade for Spinister. The next are these existing or additional hands for Impactor. So Impactor has a feature where you can pop off his hand on and off. So this would give you additional options. And this kind of reminds me of Trap Jaw from Masters of the Universe back when I was a kid. So you could either give him this little claw, try to get it focused. So you got the little claw piece there that you could give them, and then you can also give them this little, uh, kind of like a hand saw, or yeah, it's kind of like a little hand chainsaw kind of a deal, which is pretty neat. Now, again, I don't have impactor, but the cool thing about these are, is that the pegs do fit on, on, on the hand holes, so some other figures can actually hold them as weapons. So this guy can have kind of like a vibro blade, if you will. Um, I don't really see much of a way of using this claw as a weapon, but it's an option that you have if you want to use it, so that works. Um, so even if you don't have impact, or a lot of these, even if you don't have the figure that it's intended for, as you saw with the, the Blade for Spinister, and even with these guys, even if you don't have the figure that it's intended for, you can still print them out and use them uh, for some of the other figures, and, and it does tend to work out. So there you go, those are the additional hands for Impactor. Next, we have the Siege Supercar Upgrade Set, and these are intended for Sideswipe and Red Alert. I've got two sets here, one in black and one in white. Obviously, the black set is for uh, Sideswipe, and the white set is for Red Alert. So these come with two spoilers each and two guns each. And the spoilers, the, the guns don't matter. The guns are, you know, are interchangeable, but the spoilers uh, do have a, a left and a right. So you have to pay attention to which side goes on which. And the way these work is uh, these are basically a spoiler set that you would put on the vehicle. And then it can stay on the vehicle or, or on the leg itself. When you transform it into robot mode, they'll actually stay with the leg. So it hides away for robot mode and it adds the spoiler for the vehicle mode. And it's really, really nice. And it also, in, you get these two little handguns, and these are the same, all four of these are all the same, so I'll just kind of bring this one in close. 
and this one can be pegged also pe pegged into the vehicle right in front of the spoilers on each side there's a little square peg hole that you can plug these in so you can carry them in vehicle mode and then for robot mode you can use this tab up here to peg it onto the shoulders so then you would have a gun on each side of the shoulder uh kind of simulating you know the, the the shoulder mounted guns that they had uh the animated models had so those are pretty cool again that is the supercar upgrade set next we have the siege infantry sidearm and these are very neat because these really these will work with anybody these are shown off on mike's website uh as being handled by prowl uh but really these have such a a cool g1 look to them and there's i i did get two of these uh let me just go ahead and show both of those off so I did get two of these. These have such a G1 animated look to them that really any figure uh, can hold these and it'll look good. So you can print off, you know, a, a, a handful of these if you'd like. And uh, any figure would look good holding these. They, they, they really do look nice. Um, this kind of gives me the vibe of something that you would see like uh, Bumblebee holding or just any generic background Autobot in the background holding a handgun. Typically, this is kind of what you imagine or, or what I kind of, in, at least in my head, remember seeing back in the G1 day. So this is a very, very cool uh, weapon that I can see just printing out like a half a dozen of these and just having them on hand uh, to give out to just whoever needs a weapon. Here you go, here's a handgun. So those work really, really nice. And that is the Siege Infantry Sidearm. And I have not been mentioning this. I should have brought this up earlier. Most of these weapons will work with the little blast effect. So you can actually plug this, for example, on the infantry sidearm. You can plug that right in there. And it actually looks really, really neat. So that is a thing that you can do with all of these weapons. You can actually plug in these little fire effects. And while we're on the subject of sidearms, let's bring in the Spark Smasher Pistols next. And again, these are just little sidearms that would look good with just about any Autobot. There is a left and a right, if you see the clips there. So there is a left and right on this, so it is a set. And he has these shown off with Cliff Jumper, but again, uh, this looks like it would work with just about any Autobot. Uh, you can just pop them in, and uh, they do have square pegs. Uh, well, it's a round peg with a, with a flat side, so on some of these you kind of kind of work them in, but again, uh, these are just good sidearms that you can give to just about anybody and they'll look good. So there you go. That is the uh, the Earthrise Spark Smasher Pistol. Next, we have the Siege Double Shot. And this is a long double-barreled shotgun. And it looks pretty good. Again, I got two of these. You can print these out. And you can print these out in pretty much any color. Uh, what's really cool about this, he's got one set printed in gold that he's given to Sound Blaster on his website. And that gold one, this in gold looks really, really cool. So you can print these out in whatever color or you can paint them as well. So, and again, it does work with the blast effect. So you can do something like this, for example. Uh, if you have a couple of these, you could do, you know, two each or you could do one each. You know, it's, it, you, you can do pretty much anything you want with these and they look really, really cool. Now, this is something that I can kind of see more of a uh, of Decepticon holding. So I'm going to bring in Megatron since I'm going to be using him next anyway. So yeah, that, <laughs> that looks that looks like this dude is screwed. Um, yeah, so fun little accessory here: the Siege Double Shot. Now, since we've got Megatron out, and the next thing we're going to show is the Armory Cannons. And again, I got two of these. This is a set of two. And uh, this is, again, it's kind of like a double-sided weapon. It's not a shotgun, but it is uh, uh, not double-sided, double-barreled. Let's focus that in. It's a double-barreled, uh, kind of a railgun or a cannon-looking weapon, which is really cool. And he's got these shown off with Megatron. So there's a couple of things you can do with these. You can either attach them to the arms here on the peg holes there, or you can attach them at the top here. And this is kind of the way he shows them on his website, is with these attached up here. So if you have any of the G2 versions of the Siege uh, Megatron mold, uh, you can put the guns up here on the shoulders and that'll look really, really nice. They will also mount on the vehicle mode. Uh, and again, you know, if, if you have this figure, you're familiar with Megatron, you know he's got peg holes everywhere. So you can put these things pretty much anywhere you can paint them. I can see these painted in silver or in black and looking really, really nice. So again, there it is, the Siege Armory Cannons. And we're down to the last couple of accessories. The next one I want to show off is the roller for Earthrise Optimus Prime. This is a really, really neat roller. It does have 
seven pieces so you've got the actual body of roller itself and then you've got six wheels that do roll he does roll really really nicely and he's got the uh, peg holes on one on each side on the back here and then he's got one on the top so you can actually peg in weapons up here if you want to do that he can carry the weapons around and he's also perfectly sized for the little titan master figure so you can actually put little headmaster or titan master figures in there and they can actually drive roller around and you know different figures are going to fit differently i've got the snapdragon in there so <laughs> crunk but there you go it it looks really good it works really good it carries weapons it carries titan masters and it will also fit just fine well you have to take the weapon off but it will fit perfectly fine into earthrise optimus prime's trailer as you can see so and this is really cool. I've, I actually had this guy I was using in on uh, my Scorpionock and I was rolling him up and down the um, the ramps. I had this ramp of the trailer connected to my Scorpionock and I actually had a roller rolling down Scorpionock and into the trailer and it was working perfectly. It was so, so cool. So yeah, very cool accessory. We'll go ahead and put him away in there. Close him up and there you go. Uh, roller for uh, Siege uh, for the Earthrise uh, Optimus Prime works really really nice now since we're looking at the trailer uh you might notice that the trailer looks a little different here so this is another piece that he sent me this is the hitch attachment for earthrise optimus prime and what this does is it actually as you can see extends the trailer out a little bit okay so the way this plugs in let me pull this off you can see you've got a little tab and a couple of little holes there so you just attach that to the hitch and then you can just put it go ahead and plug that into optimus prime right there so this does a couple of things because it extends the trailer so it actually makes it look a little better and then it also allows you to turn the trailer in vehicle mode which is a really really nice feature to have for this optimus prime you can also use this in robot mode so we're going to go ahead and get him transformed to get into the next part and the last few weapons that i have to show off now, when you've got Prime and the trailer separated, you can always go ahead and take this piece here and just turn it around so that it's not sticking out and it looks perfectly fine. Or you can take it off and we can still use it on Prime in robot mode. So what we're going to do next is I've taken the little backpack piece. So if you remember with Prime, we could use this part as a backpack, but it sits way too high. So this disc is actually going to help us correct that. So you can take the disc and you can plug this into the bottom hole here and just play, plug it in like that. And let me see, make sure that I got this oriented the right way. There we go. So that'll be oriented that way. And now you can take this and plug it into Prime's back. And the backpack is actually going to be uh, at a good height for him, as you can see. So that actually helps correct that. And you can push it in further if you wish, but let's go ahead and put these on and give Prime his little jet pack. And that looks a lot better with him a little more centered like that. It doesn't stick out too far and it really does help improve the look of that feature. So that's another thing that you can do with the desk. So we'll go ahead and set that off to the side. And then the next uh, couple of things I want to show off. The next thing is the Ion Blaster. And this looks really good. I absolutely adore the look of this weapon and it is my preferred weapon to display my Prime with. So here we have the weapon that Earthrise, Earthrise Prime came with, and it's okay, uh, I guess. It's it's uh, it's serviceable enough. This looks more like the G1 weapon, more like the G1 toy weapon. So this is, like I said, my preferred weapon to display Prime with, and it just looks so, so good. And let me get one of these little uh, blast effects and pop this on here. Um, yeah, there we go. So that looks, let me get that straight. That looks really, really good. I absolutely love the way that this weapon looks. It's just so, so good. So one more time, there it is. It is the uh, the Ion Blaster for Prime. And then the next thing we've got, I absolutely adore this next weapon. Now, this next weapon is not uh, necessarily um, directed at or, 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 or um, what do you call it, uh, designed specifically for prime this will work on anybody but i just think it looks so good on prime so prime's the one that i like to use it with this is a gatling gun look at this thing this thing is insane it does come in a couple of different pieces you have to put the handle on and whatnot but check this out you can actually hold this and you can turn it on the back here and this actually rotates 
This is such a cool gun. And I've had this with, uh, this one works better for Voyager size figures. Uh, this is gonna be an underslung weapon. So you're gonna hold it like that. And then you're gonna put the other arm over one of the handles like this. And of course, it can be held left or right, completely up to you. Uh, but this <laughs> just looks so badass. I absolutely love how that looks. And let's see if this piece will fit on here. I, I'm not sure. I, I don't think I've tried this before with this one. So I don't know if this, that's probably not going to work. Maybe one of the uh, little yellow ones uh, will work. Let's try one of these and see if this one maybe will work better. <laughs> there we go. Check this out. <laughs> that is so, so cool. And again, you have a little handle back here that you can turn. Uh, how cool is that? Again, this is, uh, I think he shows this off with grapple or pretty much any Voyager figure will work, but I just love having Prime hold this because I just think that looks so, so cool. Absolutely love this big Gatling gun. Let me look up what the actual name of this thing is. Okay, so he has this one listed as the BC-101 minigun. And again, this is probably one of my favorite accessories. Besides the roller, really all the Optimus Prime accessories are kind of my favorite in all of these. I love that roller, and I love the trailer hitch, and I love that new handgun for Prime. Uh, but, it, you know, if we're going to talk about non-Prime related accessories, I think this one is my favorite. This is just so, so cool. I absolutely love the bc 101 <laughs> minigun this thing is just so amazing all right so let's take this one off and let's get to the final one now this is one that he designed specifically for me and this is the b-e-r-t saber and it's uh two piece it's basically it's a lightsaber because you know bert the stormtrooper and i'm in the star wars and all that kind of stuff so he he created a saber uh for optimus prime or really for any figure and this looks really really nice let me get that in there good and uh, it, this reminds me a lot of that saber weapon that was used in the movie when Optimus Prime and Megatron were having their big battle in that first act. Uh, this reminds me a lot of that. And it's such a cool weapon and it looks so, so good. Check that out. That is such a cool pose to have him in. That is the Burt Saber. Uh, again, he, um, he designed this one for me. And I am just so, uh, so grateful and absolutely love this weapon so much. Again, out of all the accessories, most of the, most of the Siege ones, uh, a lot of these figures, I don't have them. Um, I, I do love the accessories a lot, but I think all of the Prime accessories are probably my favorite. And then, for, like I said, for the non-Prime, this is probably my favorite non-Prime accessory, even though I give it to my Prime anyway. And then, of course, the Burt Saber is such a cool touch. And again, you can print this off in any color or you can paint it in any color. I believe in the movie, this was orange, so you can print it orange, so you can have yourself a little movie saber, saber so that you can reenact that movie, or that uh, scene uh, for that battle between Megatron and Optimus, which is really, really cool. So there we have one last action shot to get us out. I wanna thank Mike Hayes, AKA Fire Talks, one more time for sending me all of these really cool and awesome accessories again. Every single one of these accessories shown here today are available free to download on his site. I'm going to put links to every individual weapon and accessory down in the description below. I'm also going to put in a link for his website and his Patreon if you want to donate to him uh, for all the work that he's done. You can download these. You can print them out yourself for absolutely free. Or if you don't have a printer, you can contact him to have him print them for you and you can work that out with him. So let me know what you thought of these all, all of these accessories and weapons down in the comments below. Give me some thumbs up, subscribe, and hit that bell icon so you're notified when I upload a new video. I've got that donate button up there. If you want to click on that, I certainly would appreciate it. Share with your friends if you like what you see, and I'll talk to you next time.